um we got a, we got a couple more pieces of yeah a couple more pieces of express lrs news the next one yes. has to do with a new vendor making express lrs hardware and it's not who you might have guessed well it's my you might yeah. have guessed <laughs> yeah so uh, this is vantech uh is releasing new tx and rx modules i'm actually linked to it on free sky's website so you can see this is actually a uh, from, from all my understanding everyone i've spoke to and all the research that i've done vantech is a free sky brand um and vantech you'll if you'll look this is identical packaging to the r9 it's sold by free sky's wholesalers and they only sell free sky products um it's also yeah. sold by horus or rc that's the other a link that we have for you there, um, but basically course, there's a TX and RX module. So. Horus RC, also an official FreeSky website. Because there were a couple yeah. people in the, there was at least one person in the comments saying Vantech is not FreeSky. As far as we can yeah. tell, Vantech basically is FreeSky. Yeah, they've also, uh, it was a couple years ago, but they sold some planes and stuff under that branding, which was FreeSky Vantech mm -hmm. um, and a couple other things. So um, it does look like we're getting uh, 2.4 gigahertz, which is the one we would want. I'm so surprised it's not 900. That's the other thing it shocks yeah. me because they have all this R9 hardware, presumably. Well, maybe they're right? not uh, wanting to compete with their R9 hardware. I don't know. That's I don't also know. fair. It's also fair. I mean, um, we're just yeah, guessing. It looks like we're, we're getting Express LRS from somebody who presumably will be good build quality. We'll have to see. Well, uh, that's what we the get. thing, isn't it? I mean, yeah. wanting the best possible build quality. FreeSky makes good hardware. It's, I've always said this. It's their firmware that's annoying. Um, yeah. So if FreeSky wants to make, I mean, that could end up being a really, really good. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz Express LRS module. Um, we don't know. Um, uh, Wesley Vardy says, FreeSky R9 is STM32. It doesn't use the ESP32 processor or microcontroller, which is what's the new hotness. That makes sense. Um, yeah. yeah, so uh, it says Jai Smith says, even FreeSky knows 900 megahertz is dead. Um, <laughs> Irish Toft in the Discord says, FreeSky makes great hardware. However, I wonder how they will make it incompatible with other Express LRS stuff. Oh, yeah, that was my first <laughs> they'll, thought. Was they'll like, find a way. Yeah, well, what's going to happen here? It's going to be their um, fork of... Exp oh, we're, we're, just, we're just making jokes here. Don't take this seriously. But yeah, they're going to fork Express LRS, make one change to make it incompatible, and then sell it as their own yeah. thing. They need to patch a really rare servo bug <laughs> and then yeah. lock it out um so uh what is the best hardware for express lrs right now blunty um uh, some people in the chat mk says the best hardware is ghost you can flash immersion rc ghost to express lrs uh it's a one-way trip you can't go back yeah also cost is high there compared to other options right yeah uh, but uh i don't know right now it looks like unfortunately i, I have to say the beta fpv module looks like a very solid module um with it their QC yeah. and issues, you know, um, other than the you know, button drop thing that is getting fixed and full mm -hmm. support for the OLED and joystick will be in 2.1. Otherwise, yep. that module seems pretty solid. Um, also, it, the hardware seems solid, at least in this yeah. rev. The problem is with yeah. beta FPV that we don't, and this is true, not just with beta FPV, but we can't be yeah. sure that in the, you know, the second manufacturing run, they won't introduce a problem. Yeah, um, and then... And then also Happy Model. Um, the quite a few of those Happy Model modules look to be solid now. They've gone through a lot of revisions, I think, and kind of hopefully mm -hmm. drilled out a lot of the issues. Um, so yeah, it looks like those are those are pretty solid. Yeah, Josh yeah. says the Happy Model, the Nano Pro, the Light Pro, um, mm -hmm. seems like a good good option as well. So um, what about the, the uh, is, like you said, it's just batch to batch. So you might get you know we've seen some EP receivers come through that were horribly placed you know it's kind of a mess for soldering and stuff so we just have to hope that every batch is good yeah what about the naminmo uh flash module with the oled screen have they fixed the that issue one, with the backpack is that is that good uh, yet i be i believe they shipped new hardware for that um so that seems like a solid option as well mm -hmm. uh yeah the naminmo oled or the ones without oled i think are also solid um, well and yeah. we've also got this new axis flying module so for 120 dollars yeah, I guess we could have put that in the news. That, uh, it's one hundred and twenty-seven dollars. I'm kind of waiting on that to drop and people to see that, right? Yeah. Um, before we go too far in there. Um, but yeah, so uh, it's one hundred and twenty-seven dollars, and there looks like they're pushing towards the Crossfire Light territory, right? Uh, their whole goal there seems to be, hey, let's be a competitor to Crossfire Light and that style of module. It's like a larger module that's that like 
pops onto the back and then that yeah. fits onto a GR bay, like a, you know, it's larger than a GR bay. It's a, um, it's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out for him. Yeah. Like we're going to take, we're going to take all of the, th okay. You know, what's good about these modules? Well, they're small and they fit in the back of your radio and they're not too expensive. And the build quality is kind of iffy. And then Axis Flying comes along and says, what if we made one that had amazing build quality? Oh, I like this. And it's going to be huge and hang off the back of your radio. And it's going to be really expensive. And you're like, yeah. uh, hmm. All right, <laughs> uh, well, it does good. look, it, and they did list that it's supposed to come with um, uh, the ability to plug into like a Horus or like another style of radio. Yeah. Um, so that you don't have to have a JR Bay. Like, well, that's, for that's the appeal. That is the appeal, yeah. such as it is, is that once you have a screen on the back of it, you can plug into, well, you could plug up, like the example I like to use is that the Futaba radios support Crossfire, the high-end Futaba radios. I don't know where the cutoff is. I think it's the 14, but I'm not sure. And the Spectrum X, the 9X or X9 Spectrum, the 9 and higher support crossfire. So in theory, you could use express LRS on those radios since they just talk crossfire, but you need one yeah. with a, they can't run a Lewis script. So you need one with a screen and now they can. Okay. So, all well, right. So it'll be interesting to see yeah, how that lands and stuff. So I think that's where the, the market's at right now, but um, I don't know. I'm excited about the Vantec stuff. Cause like you said, free sky has had pretty good build quality in the past. So hopefully when you pop these open, look at these receivers, it'll be good build yeah. quality here too. Indeed. Lots of options coming along.